Wait, what level is the blooper at? Oh, 15. Okay. If you're level 20, then you should be able to go ahead and start making uh, laser rifle stuff if you can learn the laser rifle. Yeah. Because we've got this awesome EM pulse rifle that uses laser rifle ammo that I want to use. So, so I found a good way to make credits. If you can find oh. if you can find a trade station that has uh, uh, Bertram's weapons store, uh, the Bertram's weapons and supply store, whatever it's called, I uh, it, you can I uh, see what type of regular weapons he he will buy and sell, may and then just make them and sell them to him because he sells them all for a thousand plus each, and I. Uh, and sometimes up to 5,000 per unit, and uh, uh, depending on the weapon. And you can make all of those with just the basic resources. You don't need any, you know, special resources other than iron, copper, and silicon. Okay. So what I'm thinking we ought to do is one of us take the uh, the uh, Ipex okay. over there, and the other of us take one of our uh, uh, one of our uh, fighters. Eagle. Eagle. Yeah, rockets. And that way, uh, we'll have a little bit of defenses, but the I. Uh, Ipex will have the cargo requirement. You know where we're going? So, uh, which one you want to go to? Uh, I, know the, I, I know which direction. I just know which. Uh, well, I was going to say, let's go to the large power station first. And, uh, take its core out and then we can start deconstructing it and the outpost and then worry about the defense later since it's already you know gone okay. since all the turrets <clears throat> are gone they don't bother us hello mm. hey what's up not much uh this is weird i don't like the push to talk system uh, you can set it up so that it's uh, voice activated and then set the uh, the sensitivity uh, so that it only activates at a certain sensitivity. Um, but I prefer push to talk. I always just put G as my talk button because most of my games don't use G for anything. Awesome. I'm doing that now. Set that as my uh, push to talk because, well, uh -huh. since you said it, here and doesn't use it. Yeah. Oh, it didn't even load up. I thought it loaded up for right before breakfast. Um, if you have a mouse with extra buttons, you could also use one of those as the push to talk. I know some people do that as well. That's what I'm doing. I wish I had extra buttons on my mouse. My other mouse that has extra buttons is kind of broken. You sound a lot better now. You're much clearer. Uh, talking to me? Yeah. Ah! Yeah, you sound a lot I... clearer than you did last time we talked with you. Oh, I guess it's the push to talk system, or the fact that I updated the drivers to the most recent version on my webcam. Drone incoming. I'm gonna. Should I start recording it? Yeah, whenever. Yeah, once, once you're in. Yeah. Once you're in, whenever you want, just start recording. Uh, we're already recording and uh, fighting things. We haven't done an intro or anything. Normally, we we used to do them every episode. Now we just do them whenever we feel like it. So. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and wire up my intro because I have it set to where it. It does a weird thing. To where it echoes, or I'm trying to get it to echo for it. 
Well, that's one reason you use push to talk so you don't other people don't echo. Huh. Nice. Yeah. That or uh, you use um or if you can set a a filter, a game not a game filter, a what is it? Uh the it's voice a, chat filter? A, a noise gate. That's uh, it. Yeah. So that only certain uh certain levels of sound will uh activate it. Uh, I have a um voice changer that I tend to use. And that kind of brings some of the echo in. Yeah. That guy in the left has ammo for you. He's a laser dude. Oh, maybe this guy did. No, this one did. <laughs> the one on the left did too. They were both laser. Hey, pick it up. Sure. Look to your right. Well, I'm already hurting. Um, I have a few health packs if you don't. I don't have anything. Oh, crap. I got food, though. Here. Thank you. Adding in my uh, capture for right now. I haven't done the large power station in a long time. It used to be very different. A lot of them have been changed. Yeah. Should I set up my webcam for it to work? Uh, I, we don't normally use any webcams of any kind. At least I don't. I just have, uh, I, ha I use a Rock Band 2 microphone. That's u It's just a USB plug and play Logitech microphone. And I use that as my microphone. Nice. I've been using that since I started, and it's been working really well. Hey, and if it works, it works. When I first started recording, I was using a um, Logitech headset for it, and it was it was pretty cool. Yeah, I've got a. Uh, I don't. I don't remember exactly what kind of headset this is, but I use a. Uh, Headset. Ooh, medium armor. Nice. That'll sell for a lot. Or we can use it. Um, but I have a headset that has a microphone. <clears throat> uh, sorry, it has a microphone built in. Take the other side because this is sort of like a mirror on, on each side. Yeah, but I don't. Kind of the same. But I don't use the microphone on the headset. Because the microphone yeah. on the headset is uh, extremely. Uh, it, it poor comparatively. I'm dropping all settings to either absolute lowest or um, dropping it to the absolute lowest I can drop it. Quarter resolution off. Uh, I, lo blue. I love this epic pulse rifle. It takes Xerox out in like two seconds. Are you just continually shooting, or is that an, an audio bug? Uh, I think it's an audio feedback. Me? Yeah, you, because I oh. hear you continually shooting right now. That help? Yeah, it stopped. Okay, just that. Ooh, there's a loot crate down here. Yep, just got mine on this side. I did not realize there was a uh, turret robot that spawned in down here. <laughs> it's dead now, though. Yeah, mine too. He shot me, but I shot him more. Um, I'm not going to be able to carry all this on myself. Let me throw all this. I threw what I had in the Apex. Into the Apex, yeah. Oh, and the Apex has an additional 
uh, wireless connector in it for some reason. Huh? <sighs> Get this all set up. Um, uh, we might want to go back up. There's a drone or something that's uh, out. Oh, it's probably it's it's the troop transport. When when that when that drone attacked us, or attacked me, and I attacked. Oh, you got a troop transport. Yeah. Warning. Okay, let's go and take out whatever troops may have spawned before they blow up our ships. Over, I mean, the the transport's, transport's on its way out. It may not have dropped off anything. Yeah, half the time it doesn't. Well, the one Joining that game. the one that just responds what like that, yeah, it only drops off about half the time. The ones for the base, however, for the base attacks, they'll drop them off every time. I had two troop mm -hmm. transports come after my base last base attack. I have my base in, in the orbit, and they don't. I I heard I kept hearing that they were making like base attacks in space, but they're not. It's not there yet. Well, it oh, it, everyone I know. it is there, but you actually have to be in their space territory. So, for example, oh. it, it has to be a solar system inside their specific territory. Otherwise, they ignore. They they're, they don't do it. Yeah, I'm just outside the starter planet, so I guess not. Yeah, we're the starter planet's in a neutral thing. All right, so uh, you starting on you 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 coming down, uh, bromine? Uh, yeah, or I am bromine. About to, uh... <laughs> Is it bromine or bromine? Whatever works for you. Okay, because I know the element is bromine, so. <laughs> All right, I'm switching I back. I mean, instead of because well, I couldn't type in, couldn't wouldn't let me use bromine, bromine for some uh. weird ass reason. Well, anyways, hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm currently recording with Know It All DM. Hello. Firebots, and uh, hey, is uh, Slayer Nate Slayer twenty four playing with us today? Uh, he is, he's on, uh, I don't know if he's going to be voice chatting or not, but he's in, he's on the server. Ah, uh, well, if he d does decide to join us, my good, uh, new friend, Slayer824, you should go check all of them out. I will post a link to their channels in their description. And for and our, me to... for, so it will. we'll, we'll, we'll post our, your link in ours as well, so. And thank you. Uh, it's really nice to do a YouTube recording session with someone else other than my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Does she want to play too? No, she cannot. Have, her computer is a potato. Mine's a... Mine's a grape. Let me put it that way. Uh, this is a fingerling. If we're going based on food, I guess mine would be cheesecake because it's the best food of all time. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Uh, wow, it is not seeming to load. Oh, uh, it kicked me out. Hmm. Um, the negative one ping. What the heck? Uh, we've got a password on here that is taco. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but oh, taco. I thought it was tacos. Well, it, just one O. Singular. No S. I'm dying. I am nearly dead. Uh, do you have any Make health? Me send Nemo. No, I should have grabbed some before we left. Uh, how much? How damaged are you? I have 101 health left. Thank y'all. Wow, Imperial just closed out oh, on me. Oh, um, do you that have do you have easy. the easy anti cheat on? Uh, it should, should still be on. I use it for... Turn it off. Master Chief for Halo. Turn, Turn it, it off. Turn well, it off. Use it on yeah, the uh, go into the settings on Imperion and see if it's on. And if it's on, turn it off because it... Ah.
screws up this server. And I think you have to restart the game once you turn it off. Yes, that that was the problem that Nate was having when he first started. That stinks, because I like it cheat because it keeps people from cheating, unless it's in games that I like to play with cheats. You can turn it back on. Yeah, but you can turn it back on as soon as you're, you know, whenever you decide to go to go on a server that, uh... Um, That's not the kind of cheating that it's preventing. It's cheating from hacking. It's not so much using the... Because we can enable... We can go into God mode if we want to. It doesn't really matter. Well, technically, I'm the only one who can do it on this server because I'm the one running it, but yeah. Right. Ah. But I would only do that as, like, if there was a bug in the game that we needed to fix, I would do that. But other than that, no. You don't like anti cheat? <laughs> well. The anti-cheat system, there's a lot of bugs with it on this game that causes weird things to happen, so... Okay, there's a Xerox commander right over there, so be very careful. He can shoot through walls. Uh, not anymore, he can't. They fixed that in this last patch. Oh, Wait, or, or, or so they it said they did. Inactive. Oh, if it, Do you have any hmm. idea what those extra numbers are up on the top left corner? Uh, uh, in, the, in the version number? Um, alpha 12.2... You mean the... You mean the 6-16.13? So yeah. Yeah. No, I'm in um, alpha 12.2, 29.69. Yeah, it says 29.69, then it has a space, then it says 6 dash 16 colon 13. What, Once you start a game, that pops up. Right. What that I'm is? That is the date when the game started, when you started the game. And the 13, I guess, is the, how many days it's been? Yes. That's odd because I'm not seeing anything like that. Are Once you, you're in, you'll see. Are it. you in a game? Are you playing the game right now? Oh, no. I'm currently right. going to find him through settings to. Um, right. Six. Miscellaneous. I think it's under miscellaneous. Yeah, six 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 sixteen was the date that we started this this specific game, uh, being mm -hmm. that this is the one that we sort of cheated our base over yeah, from the previous used. one because the previous mm -hmm. save was broken, um, uh, because they did an update and our last save got broken, and so. Um, mm -hmm. So we basically just started a new game and then just spawned in the same base that we were using in the other one. So, so did you? Because I just kind of figured it out on my own. But did they explain anywhere what those extra numbers mean? Yeah, they said it it's internal error has occurred. They oh. they said it's the date that the uh, game was started and the number of uh, of I don't, I don't remember. No, it was like not what else is fifteen. Yeah, it, it was like pretty quick. I mean, every time I start the game over, it does another day. Yeah, it's not in-game days. It's, uh, I think it's like in-game hours or something. I, I, I don't remember. They said what it was in the last update, but. For me, it's, it keeps saying internal error. Hmm. Does it give you a, a, uh, Continue or quit message, or does it just close the game? It says continue, uh, continue, continue in mail, yeah. quit in mail. That's a COQ error, oh, continue and Q error. Oh, awesome. It says continue, continue in mail, quit in mail. Basically, it's telling me, do I want to email the developers of the right. game that something's going wrong? Yeah, that's what they call yeah. a, a QOC, a quit or continue error. And I. Uh, I'm not sure what would be causing that in this instance. Um, I could and try and uh, ver re-verify the files. Yeah, I would do that. But when does it give you that? When you try to connect to the server? Right after I put in the password. Okay. More than likely? Hmm. We're not running any mods or anything. So. No. Uh. Frag, do you, do you have any explosives? No, I was looking to see if I did. We have any on the Apex, maybe. Nope. 
I mean, we can just take this door out if you want with the. Yeah. Yeah, we can just shoot it out. It's not not reinforced or anything. You you aim at him. oh he's gone. You aim at him. Well, he's fast. I'll shoot the door. Hey, snap me back to the login screen to, to the um first screen, which is yeah. kind of odd. That's not the commander though. That was the commander. There's zero. It says zero out of four players on your server right now. Um, which server are you trying? What What's the name of the server you're trying to connect to? Mortal DMs multiplayer. Okay, that's the right server. There should be three out of four players on there, though. I got health. Stop and stretch. Click. So okay, there's gonna be. Oh, when you flip that switch. There's gonna turret's gonna pop up right here. I clicked hide incompatible builds and it made your server disappear. We all should be on the um, same build. What build is it? It should be 12.2 build 2969. Yeah, that's that's the fine thing. It's on that one exactly. All right, we're good. You put the switch. Uh, unlimited ping, because I don't really care about the ping right now. Playfield survival. Playfield auto restart. Never remove time. Disabled. Disabled. Offline protection time. Disabled. Offline protection delay. Zero seconds. Max structures per playfield. 225. 255. This is really weird. He lied down. What, sir? What? Port? What is the IP and default? Hold on, I'll pause the um, recording. Recording's paused. Um, honestly, oh. I don't know. Okay. So, okay. So it's for you. It's default. The default uh, direct IP and port. Yep. No changes to that. Oh. Needed. Usually, usually the, the quit and continue errors. You just ignore them. Yeah, did you click continue on the quit and continue error? Yeah, it clicked continue. Nah, and it... But does it keep going and going? Does it keep coming back every second? Uh, it doesn't come back every second. That happened with okay. Halo before I reinstalled a thing. It just kept shutting me down. Try connecting. Let me put in the password again. All over case taco? Yes. Yep. All right. And it says it has it a, gave me a quit and con internal error to quit and continue. And when you click continue, what happens? It sends me back to the screen that you get when you first load up the game. Time yeah, screen. Yeah. Oh. I, I would try to re-verify your files in Steam and see if that fixes it, but hmm. Alright. Sorry guys, I'm having some ser some mild uh, technical problems with my game which is odd because I paid for it but you know if it worked it should work if I have to edit a few files here and there I will probably have will probably Did you cord? Hmm? I don't know if you cord the POI yet no I didn't no I haven't put a core in yet I was about to go do that in fact I was going to put it out here so that we can just pull it up when we're done alrighty Should we? I'm just going to use my military tool instead of going back and using the. Uh, That's what I was going to do. Multi turret. There, it's factioned now, so. Um, file zero two. Wow, this is going to be taking a while. <laughs> Fun. Doesn't take long. Um, it looks like most of this is actually just regular steel. There is some hardened steel I see over here. Yeah, I picked up. I just grabbed one. Yeah. Question: Not at all. Uh, would you be okay with me uh, 
recording my version of the um uh... Yeah, uh, I couldn't hear anything you said. You sounded like a robot. Yeah, I think I just what you would it be alright with you if I recorded the dark, one of the Dark Seeker sessions or more than one? Yeah, that's that's fine. Um, I'm not going to be doing it myself. Um, I would, however, recommend that you ask the other players involved, um, as it as I'm it would you know impact sure. them as well. But it would be wrong to not to record them and not ask them, even though. There are things that allow me to record it anyway. I think Discord's tripping out and turning into a robot. Yeah, I can barely make out what you're saying. Are you in the container? I was, yeah. Um, Frag, you're gonna you're gonna want to go ahead and start uh, putting these hardened steel blocks into uh -huh. your thing. Thank you. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing. Yeah, we can hear you. Five by five. Let me update my things to voice activity and set it to we uh, thing. We're about halfway through this POI here. What is the time on your uh, workshop on on the factory down to? Twenty two minutes seventeen seconds. Just twenty two minutes. Yep. All right. Cool. Keep putting in. Well. All right. Here's what I want to do now. Let's head back to the base. Put in what blocks were made up at the base, and then from that point on, once it gets down to one second, we just need raw raw materials. Um, ingots, really. Go ahead and pull what you can out of that large cargo box. The only thing I can't move is that antenna. The antenna's freaking huge, man. Really? I'm gonna try and join the game again right now, see if that works. Keep hitting rocks. Four minutes, 49 seconds. Where are you right now, Nate, and what are you doing? I'm moving around with my HB. Yeah, the HVs, uh, unless you're hovering oh, high enough, good. often I uh, well, run into rocks. Ping is one player on your server. Hmm. Keeps ping as one to zero, one to zero. Ping is one fourteen. Slayers is two oh three. And know it alls is eleven. Could be zero, but whatever. Well, how many players saying you have it's on that start on the start of like the reason that, I'm, that my ping is not zero is because it's two separate programs that are technically running. You've got the server program and the game program, and the game has to connect to the internet, to my computer, and then to the game, or to the server, so. It shouldn't work that way. It's bouncing through. Or more specifically, not, not. You can play. Yeah, not to the internet, but to my local network is what it's is what it's doing. Setting to one uh, one two zero dot zero zero one, then it's doing it at all internally. It's not even touching your router. Yeah, it's it's, but it's it's, or maybe it's just because of my uh, the lag between the uh, or I guess ping between the uh, the two different programs. What are we doing? Yeah. It still said it as a um, internal error message, which is odd. I'm gonna scrap this recording. <laughs> yeah, what I would do? And, um, um, I would go on to uh, the bug forum and post it because 
uh, unless it's your unless it's a problem with your computer not having the appropriate uh, uh, requirements for the game to connect, you shouldn't have a problem. Eris was on public. Ooh, oh, pardon. Pardon. We're getting really close now. Say what, Frag? The, the box that were in here, I just put them in, and they're really close. How much do and you need? I need maybe 3,000 more titanium rods and another 1,000 iron all right. ingots, and Gr it's down to one second. All right, grab the five blocks that are already in there. That are in the output. Put those five blocks mm -hmm. in there. Come over here. Grab the the titanium rods out from the uh, thing. Throw that in there, and then put the exact amount of iron that you need into it. It's probably to like another thousand. Uh, 1,600. But we're just down to titanium, right? Yeah, I haven't done the iron yet. Yeah, like I said, put exactly the amount of iron in there that you need so we don't waste it, so that the rest of it we can actually utilize. Who's taking the Ipex? Not me. Nate, are you trying to steal my ship? <laughs> <laughs> I only need like 12 more. I'm not going to use it all. What, 12 I'm working on the uh, Steam form right now for uh, possible things to fix. But got back to this game, new game, some player. That's not helpful. Five more. Five more ingots is all I need. No, I need 15. Iron ingots, you mean? Iron, yes. Uh, and plus titanium, too. I'm All right. Done how, how many titanium and how many iron? You said 15 iron? 15 iron and whatever the math is for this one. I don't have my... I only got one PC running. I don't have the other one running. Uh, Let's see. And home credit at this that's a memory leak? What the? Huh. Send a message. 380 titanium uh, rods. All right. So here's what we'll do. Uh, come with me to the Ipex. We'll go into space and start harvesting some uh, hey. asteroids in space. Actually, hold on. No, don't. Let's do it from the. Let's the... do it from the. Uh the POI we've been harvesting from. Uh, well, that's true. We could do that. That's not a bad idea. Just go grab some stuff from there. Just there's not much left I need. Yeah. Actually, oh, hold on. Error messaging. Come Post up. That. Come up to the Ipex. Me? Looks like Nate got kicked. Uh -oh. No, I'm in the teleporter. Oh, you left the planet. Okay. It's not giving anything, any um stuff, and it's just saying an intern. The exact words on my screen are, and I'll just screen. I'll just take a picture of it. It's saying a no reference exception. Yeah, it's just a basic QOC error. It will be fixed in a future update. I've forgotten about. Okay. I'm just gonna head back to the to the PY we're tearing down. Okay, I was gonna say we got enough stuff here in this thing that you should be able to just throw it from the IPEX into your thing and be done with it. We've got 150 iron ingots here. Um really? Because I used up all the iron ingots. There's no there's 150 iron ingots in the IPEX that I haven't unloaded into the thing oh. yet. We've got I another hardened steel block over here. Hmm. I posted a um the air, exact error message into the server, so y'all can see it. 
yeah. and probably try to decipher it because it's not giving me any code or anything. Just no. Yeah, that's the basic QOC error. There's nothing you can do about it. They're all kind of generic. Did you put it in the input on the... That's the what I'm doing right now. We've got six auto minor cores all together now as well. Revenue. you? Not really into a lot of minor core. They can be handy for multiplayer situations. They said that what that when they removed uh, the error message on it, well, not the error message, the password, it worked for some reason. So I wouldn't ask you to do it because well, passwords are there for a reason. Okay. Oh, how many players set up for? All right. I. Uh, cool. All right, everybody on the server, go ahead and leave the server, and I'm going to shut it down, Pull, take off the password, because that might be the big problem. Moment of truth. If it comes up with something that says password, just hit continue and don't put anything in. All right. Connecting to node all VMs. Connecting to server. I think it's working. Working. Any second now. It's working. <laughs> I just hear everyone say it's working right before it's loading. Loading. Oh my gosh, I'm connected. <laughs> yes. Loading worked for me before. I don't know what your problem is. Look, you don't know it all has a zero ping. And I don't see I don't see any game that uses that so much RAM before. Never seen that before. I only have eight gigs of RAM, and I cannot get to have any more RAM. That is the minimum spec for Imperial on these eight gigs. Yeah, I usually uh, I usually would make sure that you have at least sixteen. Yes. Yes. I don't have 16. And I don't have to have 16 gigs of RAM to set up a multiplayer dedicated server. I don't have to have that much RAM to set up a dedicated server. Hey, Slayer. All right, 150. Mine's somewhere around 200. A little under 200. It's always over 150. Oh, it went over slightly. We're good. Hey, we've, is 8 we've got a Harvey Meyer on here. <laughs> awesome! It said it's for y'all, but I'm connected. I guess that worked. Oh, yeah. Join our faction. Apply to the faction. And then no Low memory one. detected. That is. Yeah, it, it'll give you that error until you get better RAM, so. <sighs> okay, let me just plug in. Don't plug the RAM, you know. It will keep doing that until you have 16 gigs of RAM. Yes. You know, I had a, um... You can need more RAM. Uh, I have OBS running in the backup. Actually, there's a lot more money in the back. I don't have it. I don't have it. Coaching class, you get. All right. Scary pod to a safe spot. It is running a little bit smoother for me. Okay. Uh, go ahead. While your escape pod is going down, hit F. Uh, what, what, what is it? F something. Uh, it's, it's, it's going to fall and land on something. It, it, it doesn't matter. Try, uh, hit, hit tab and then go to the factions tab. The That's the fourth one over at the top. And then what you see up at the top where it says player, logistics, tech tree, factions. Looks like three little people when you hit tab. Can you hear me, Broman? Yes, I can. I think I died. No, oh. the wrong station. There goes my. Oh, no, it's falling down. Oh no. I'm chasing after her right now. 
Okay, I'm gonna go add that as soon as I catch up to my uh, skate pod. If it doesn't kill me by rolling me, try to roll me over. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it won't kill. You, you can't get rolled over by it. You'll... I like the color. Oh my god, it is running so much smoother right now. Um, Versus when you play single player? Surprisingly. Oh, that, is be that is because you're not having to actually... Uh, the, your game, your computer is not saying what's going on with this system, with this community. It's going, oh, I'm connected to something. Hey. And that's it, you know. My computer, my computer's the one that's running the universe. Yours is running your character, you know. So as opposed to running everything. Okay, that works. Okay, now I'm gonna join your faction. And then, yep, up at the top, you'll see the little three-person factions icon. Click on that, then click where it says human, then where it says all of us, and click apply. A-O-U, all of us. I was shot by a blank. I don't know what I was... It doesn't say what I was shot by. You died? Yeah, I just died. It, it, I got shot. Who shot me? He. It, it was probably a... Uh, uh, he may be in Xerox territory. <laughs> what do you mean in the starter area? No, because after the Start game starts, the planet rotates. Remember when Nate started? He started way off to the west. Oh, right, because we we put our base up right where we landed in our escape pod. That's why they're not that right. far apart. Right. I saw a red base, a green and blue, and like a, sl a slight tint of orange. Okay, when okay. you when you get back on, look at uh, the mini map and see where it says longitude, latitude, and tell me what it says. All right, what should I click for respawn? Current location? Respawn uh, near my death location? Actually, uh, we can re-equip you with anything you need. You don't need to worry about your items. Uh, spawn at the nearest medical station if you can. All right, clicking map. You and might end up in Polaris. Yeah, but we'll know where he is. All right, and what is your location? Loading. Um, well, you, it to when it finishes loading. Yep, as soon as it finishes loading, you should be in a safe place spawning there. So um, then you should be able to apply for the faction, and then we can see you. All right, I'm going to... I'm not sure if I should do some video editing on this video. Why don't we just upload it raw? Oh I yeah, do. I, I do a lot of editing on things. Usually with uh, our multiplayer, I just record the whole thing and then I'll split it up into like 30 minute or one hour episodes and then put it on there. But I uh, like with my intro and outro, but in certain situations like this, when we had the little issue, I had to close the game and all that, I will be doing more editing. So It says I'm in the media in the what else is medium red and I'm in the flats. Polaris, Mechacore. Uh, how do I access my things? All right, first, oh, I see hit, hit the tab Join button the to pull up your uh, inventory and then go to the factions and try to apply for our faction. Little people icon, the fourth from the left. All of us click apply. Candidate now. Um, Yay. Sure. Awesome. Okay, now we can Alright, you're in Polaris, so that means you are either down there. Yep, you're oh, down there. I see yeah. where you are. Oh, you're you're just southeast from us, so trading, I have trade. Did I steal something? Did you uh, we are uh, we are still no. friendly with Polaris because we were so friendly with them. Uh, we are neutral with the Talon now uh, instead of being friendly. I think we were friendly before, but Polaris is all we really care about being friendly with. You can trade with neutral things now, so. Hey, no, I love it. But I guess you're, the deal you get is not as good as you 
friendly or, or honored, I suppose? I think you're correct. I think if you're neutral, you get a basic, you know, you can buy. If you're friendly, it, it's buy for less, sell for more. And then if you're uh, honored, it's buy for even less and sell for even more. That keeps averaging our reputation with yours, just like it did when I joined. Yeah, but we made sure that we were friendly enough with them that if we added a fourth person, that it wouldn't impact it. So, I'm in the um, you're in the hangar of some sort right now. Oh, I know where where you are. You're in the trading station. We're we're docking in the uh, SV docking pad right now. Okay. Um. Shit. Is the atmosphere outside breathable? Oh yeah. Solar planets. Oh yeah. No, I take that back. No, sometimes the solar planet isn't. I mean, that's so I'm it out. Yep, I am. I'm in here up at the upper level. You see the elevators? Go up an elevator, and you'll be uh, in the upper level. I see stairs. Okay, cool. I'm I'm God. down. I'm down at the bottom level. So, hi, I'm right here. I, I, look, is that look, you in front of me? It's running with a gun. No, look to your right. Oh, that's a Paul. Uh, look to your right. Hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> Please know it all. So I jumped in the air and I hit my head. <laughs> these are elevators. Oh. You see these little oh. the lines on the interior oh. with the yeah, that's an elevator block. It it looks weird if you don't oh. think of it as an elevator, but that's what it is. It's a gravity elevation system. Anti gravity. Hit space wow. and you'll go up. Space goes up, C goes down. Okay, now there's two ways to get to our base. From here, you can either use the teleporter and teleport to our base, because we have a teleporter now, or you can get in our awesome small vessel up here, and uh, I'll fly you back. I'll back down. Let me get in. Hold on. Come on, stupid computer work. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're rubber banding all over the place. This ping isn't as bad as, as Nate, though. Oh, no, it isn't, Sam. What's my ping right now? I just mine. 900. Whoa, I got a zero ping. Woo I don't know if I'm um, So you have to be sitting in a... Uh, passenger seat or when I move you'll just meld through the ground or through the ship and back onto the thing so that's crazy uh, let, me, let me park my, my butt into a seat yeah there's uh, there's four passenger seats right here you can just look in look at them and then press F and you'll sit down I'm in sweet let's go <laughs> yep Wait, now how do I um, exit the first person point of view V, v. Ooh, that ship looks really nice. Yep, this is a ship of my own design. In fact, everything that we have uh, is pretty much my own design, except for what I, the uh -huh. little, the hover vessel that we have uh, is one that I modified from a, from one that I, that the game ga gives you. With, and then I, uh, one of the it's one of the base uh the stock hover vessel uh blueprints that i modified and then uh slayer nate has his own hover vessel that he made so nice but, but other hey, than guys. that everything else is my own design say what um i'm gonna be watching this video to go check you out okay cool I'm going to try to upload the video as soon as I can. With a little bit of editing. Oh, that was a rough landing. Well, okay, that's all. All right, so we have a... Uh, before we go, let's see. I want to grab the armors and armor mods. We should be able to get some uh, armor and stuff for you. Go ahead and you can start looking around the uh, base and get used to it. 
Oh, greetings, Fred. Hello. Hola. Yeah, I'm a chick. Nice I'm going the wrong way. Okay, Frag. So what? in the constructor in there are some more titanium plates. And in the S okay. in the SOV storage, there are a whole lot of uh various devices and such, including uh one hardened steel block and nine small hardened steel blocks. So you should be able to throw those. Output? Well no, there it's in the SOV storage near the SOV bay over there i took that and something else too there's a that's that, you know that adult looking thing that's a teleporter pad right in the furnace room oh, teleporter it's not active yep but stand on it and it'll become right. active yes you'll have to stand on it because it uses so much power that i wanted it not to be active when we're not on it so Ah, now so I want to yep, power. because that little, that little thing below it is a pressure plate. So when you stand on it, it activates. When you get off it, it deactivates. That way, when you teleport away, it'll deactivate in single player. This does not work because it unloads. If you're, it does not work if you're going to a different play field because it unloads the play field before the sensor has a chance to go. You're not there and deactivate it and it wastes power in you multiplayer. In multiplayer, it works properly. Awesome. It stays on, it on in single player? Yep, if you're changing play fields. Like, if you went from here to the moon, then it would stay on because the sensor thinks you're still standing on it permanently until you come back, stand on it, and then get off. How do I equip my helmet? It never told me how to. Right, well, <laughs> right, now, you, you, right now, you don't have a suit on. Come over to... The armor locker over here. Uh, let's see. That's an EVA. We don't... Uh, let us make you a suit of light armor. Unless you want a suit of medium okay. armor. We have medium armor now. We got two of them. Whichever, whichever your plan is giving me. Uh, so which way am I going? Uh, go go to this armor locker right here. Right now I have a suit of the EVA. Where am I suit? And uh, you're going to want to put a put the medium armor on. The EVA suit would have a lot. It, it's harder to work on, on a planet in an EVA with an EVA mod on it. But in space, it lets you not freeze. So. Ah. Yeah. That's light armor. Let me click. Put that and back. to equip and unequip armor, you have to be at an armor locker. So. Uh, meteorite incoming. It's a silicon meteorite because that's the only resource we're out of on the planet. But <laughs> I like my spacesuit. It makes me feel like I'm uh, the master chief. And you, <laughs> if, if, if you guys confused because you're both blue. If you, well, he's got green arms. He's got he's blue and green. I'm blue and blue, or blue and black. If you press the U button, your helmet will come on and off. So. Three hundred and sixty more uh, titanium. You both look the same. You said three hundred and sixty yeah, more titanium. Uh, you've already grabbed those. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess now we can just fly back. Actually, here, use that and that. Is this okay? Okay. Yeah. Are you talking to Frag or me? I was talking to Frag. Oh, okay. We're working, working on a blueprint we've been working on for the past like three weeks. We're finally about to get our capital vessel online. <laughs> um, oh. Another chip. Nice. Um, I'm not sure what I can do to help. Uh, uh, get titanium. <laughs> yeah. Well, right now, uh, just just follow us around I'm and we'll tell you. Hand. Yeah, just follow us around, and we'll basically tell you what you can do to help when we get to it. Uh, do you have any weapons? No. Okay. I have um, some. And I, got them. <laughs> well, I can make them. I'm All right. So come here. All right. So grab this behind you. That's a multi-tool. That's for assembling, disassembling, and repairing bases and such. And that replaces the, uh, the survival tool. Yeah, the multi-tool replaces the survival tool, so you're not going to need one of those anymore. 
Um, and then let's see. A drill. Here, let's see. Yeah, we need to make him a drill. Uh, I know we've got a surplus of weapons somewhere. I just forgot where I put them. Is it in the Ipex box? I think it's in one of the Ipex boxes. Yeah, here we go. Um, okay, so uh, if you're looking at me, take this. I love my tablet. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice little rifle. Yeah, that's a shotgun. Yep. Wait, no, it's not. Actually, actually, drop the assault rifle and pick this one up instead. And then when you go into there, you can just drag it to the drop thing and it'll drop. And then I'll put it back with the other things. Because these weapons are ones are stuff that I'm going to be selling for credits. So um, drop the assault rifle so we can sell it. Do we, do we need more Pentaxid yet? Always. We always need more Pentaxid. And again. We're going to mine some Pentaxid asteroids. Nice. How are you going to line it up? You have a you have an EAV? I have an EVA. EV, that's what I meant. I'm left um, Does anybody want this <laughs> laser rifle once we get enough laser ammo? I can make it, you know. Yeah, I know, but we don't have the we don't have the pentaxid right now for it. Um, we'd... so how do I go out and mine titanium? Okay, well, first of all, titanium right now the only place to get it is is either on the moon or other planets. So we would have to teleport to other places and all that. We don't need to worry about that right now because we can just go grab some blocks off of a POI and throw them in his thing. In fact, you can go ahead and do that on your own since there's that box over there. You can just grab what you need and throw it in there. And so, like, take my so, all right. So, I, uh, Harvey, you and I. Would you rather me call you Harvey or Bromine? Whichever uh, base is on our tower. Yeah, we are. Yeah, I like it though. I'm I'm activating our defenses now. That was weird because I got the the warning when I was over here by the the where I'm I, I'm not even at the command center. I was gonna go ahead and shoot, try and shoot a few of them. Okay, so our defenses are active. Um, come out of the command center. Um, northwest. Uh, I see you. Yeah. So am I going following you? Yep. Follow me. It's a troop transport. Yep, our defenses ought to be able to take it out, but if you want to shoot it a few times. <laughs> I don't shoot. Okay. Oh, that works. I, I turn off the cruise control. Um, what button do I click to shoot? Okay. Well, I know a button, but where do I sh what am I shooting at? Well, nothing right now because it's dead. Um, you see this troop oh, transport just that just fell oh, out of the sky? Yeah. What'd you knock away over that here ship. for? <laughs> what? The ship is really like massive. It's hard to slow down. Oh, nice! Anyway. Tier two, days? tier two rocket launcher. That'll sell for like twenty thousand credits in and of itself. I'm gonna go ahead and try and mine it. How do I have to activate the light? Say what? Is it L to activate the light? Oh, yes, it is. For mining, do I right click, left click? Confused. Uh, do you have a drill? Nope. Yep. In order to mine, you need a drill. So. Ah. Uh, you could use your. You could use a survival tool, but it's gonna be slow. That's true. You could, but it's gonna be very true, very slow. Um, here, let me yeah, make. I'll well. make you a you drill. Retrieve blocks. We need Prometheum, so uh, let's go do make a Prometheum run, uh, Harvey. And uh, all right, which way? 
Uh, right now, um, come, yeah, come back to the uh, <laughs> come back to the uh, we starport. More, we always need more Pentaxid. Yes. <laughs> Pentaxid is warp to... is warp fuel and is used to make laser rifle ammo and plasma ammo and, and shields and shields. And so. We need some lithium crystals. We always need Pentaxid. The dilithium crystals are what we require. <laughs> like, okay, so I'll get that reference. All right, Harvey. So right now, uh, go into the command center, grab the drill that I just made out of the uh, box to the left of the constructor, and then. Um, are you? Is the is your ship parked on the um command center? Uh, the ship's on the starport right no. now. The command center is where Star we came water. out of, right across from the starport. Yeah, when you get close, when you get close enough, you should be able to see all the names of the things above them. Command center. Okay, let's go to the command center. I was just in the command center. Yes, and then if you turn right once you get in there and go, you'll see the constructor over there, and the box to the left of it will have a drill for you, and I've got drill charges for you on me. Girls are retracted. <laughs>